What is going on everybody? It is Ranger Marcus or Marcus Rareman and today we are going to be flipping some tin. It is a really nice day to flip some tin. It's about 80, 85 and the humidity is very high so there's a good chance we can find some snakes today. But before we get to that, I found some cool herps in the last week while we were doing some prescribed burns as well as on the coast while we were looking for rattlesnakes. So let me take you there first. And if you guys didn't already know, my Ranger Marcus shirt is in the shop in my website. If you just go to rangermarcus.com, you can go check it out. We got another prescribed burn here. And this guy was escaping the burn. This is a red-bellied snake. I flipped one yesterday, but wasn't able to get any video. This is an adult. They do not get any bigger. And they come in like three different color phases. And this is probably the best one. They have like a gray dark phase, which is really cool too. But yeah, this is a red-bellied snake. Kind of looks like a Pinewoods litter snake, which I also have not seen yet. But really cool fossorial snake. Escaping the burn here. You can see that really cool red belly there. I'm gonna get some pictures of this guy. So I got him all curled up here. It's protecting its head all the way in the middle there, but you can look up top here and you wouldn't be able to know that this is a red-bellied snake. But once you flip it over like that, then you can tell. All right, releasing this red-bellied snake on the other side of the unit. And he's gone. First ever look at the Atlantic Ocean. Woo! In the bike cab. East Coast, Beast Coast, baby! <laughs> There's a gator right there. So far, but it was a stunner. I mean, I don't see many that get much better than this. So Ryan and I were going to play some golf and we just cruised up this soft shell turtle. It's my first ever soft shell. Pretty big size here. Not as big as they come though. They can get a lot bigger than this. Really cool find. Look at that cool nose there. This is how they breathe underwater and that nose sticks right out over the water. Really cool species. Dag it, I guess. All right, so we're driving down this road here back from golf after we saw that soft shell turtle and we got a huge corn snake on the road here. We're gonna pick this guy up, take a few pictures. Is that a life of corn? No, I got one before. Look at this nice color patterning on here. It's like pinkish orange right here. This is nice. Good looking corn. Only my second though, only my second corn. So even though we golfed today, we got two cool herps. You can let that guy go now. Buddy. See a corn snake. And he's off. All right, here's a look at that Eastern Diamondback that we got a few days ago. We just processed this snake. He's a little unhappy, but he was very nice for processing. We're gonna release this guy right now. Just getting some pictures now. All right, let's get to flipping. This sand hill landscape is also looking fantastic for spring. Everything's turning green here. Looks great.
like I see on the knoll over here, showing off its dewlap. You can kind of see it in there. Try to go up this tree. If I can see him here. Where'd he go? There he was. Right there. Just flip this log right here. We got a juvenile broadheaded skink. These broadheaded skinks have really cool red heads to them. These ones don't have that cool blue tail. But the red head is pretty cool. And these guys can get huge. They can get at least two to three times the size. I'm gonna put this guy back and keep looking for snakes. This right here looks to be an old plasteron or a carapace. Yeah, I think this is the plasteron of an old gopher tortoise. Looks pretty old though. Is it a, there's some more shards here. So I was driving while at work and I saw this freaking corn snake and it got hit, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna show the head here, but this was a pretty good looking snake. Got some really nice colors to it. Very unfortunate that it got hit. Snakes are moving though. And another DOR snake today, a Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. This one was not the greatest looking individual, but a three, three and a half foot snake. I'm not going to show you its head again because once again it was clipped near the neck facial region. So I was just driving on this road and if you guys remember I saw a corn snake earlier this week. Well that dude right there was just crossing the road. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same corn snake because I remember putting him right next to that tree over there. I am pretty sure this is the exact same corn snake. Yeah and he's fighting. And he's feisty just like the last one. Dude, what are you doing crossing the road when it is raining out here? What are you doing, man? It's a great looking corn snake. I don't know what he's doing crossing the road back to this side. What, th brother, three days later? I don't know what this guy's plan is. Well, I'm gonna let him go on his way. But very strange. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me this week here in southern Georgia. We saw some really cool stuff, including a red-bellied snake, a few corn snakes, and a few eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. We also saw a gator and a Florida softshell turtle. Now, don't forget, go to rangermarcus.com to get you a Ranger Marcus t-shirt in my shop. And if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.